And then I asked, I did the question, do you have any more? And they said, yes, I've got loads. Hi, welcome to the video. I'm Mike Focus Flips, a part-time reseller based in Northwest England. This one's going to be a little bit of this, a little bit of that. We're going to have a few sales that have sold this weekend. And we're going to have a look at something that I picked up online to resell for a profit on eBay. And if I show you this up here, this will give you a clue as to what is in these two boxes here. So I bought this for only £7.50 plus postage on eBay. And it's a funny thing. I kind of then got these. And then I asked, I did the question, do you have any more? And they said, yes, I've got loads. So then I bought this box as well. So we'll get into that in a minute. But first, we're going to have a look at what's been selling this weekend there's not all that much to be honest but i thought i'd show you guys anyway you know not every weekend can be a really busy weekend and to be honest this january on the whole has been a really good january for me and january's are usually just dead so i cannot complain but right now we've got 10 things we're picking half of them are in here half of them are downstairs let's go so the first item is this it's a silver cross rain cover for a pram or a push chair or a car seat i'm not really sure and i've kind of said that in the listing i'm not entirely sure what it's for but i've kind of measured it as best as i can and somebody's not asked any questions they just bought it for 12.99 free post no plus postage on top and it's in box q which i think must be one of these ones down here I'll tell you what i'm going to move these downstairs ready to open them up with you guys in a, in a minute and i'll have a bit more room to play with in here so it's just down here so hopefully this fits whatever it is they are putting it with i remember when we had a couple of prams in the past finding the rain covers for them if you ever lost it which we did once or if it just kind of no longer kept out rain which we had before as well trying to find these rain covers sometimes can be difficult so I can't remember if I bought this for us, thinking it might fit with one of our prams, or whether I bought it thinking, oh, I know how hard they can be to find. I can't really remember, but 12 99 that'll do. And next we have these Disney cars. Well, actually, only one of them is actually sold. It's that one on the right. They said 10 quid for just the Golf. And I said, yep, yeah, no problem. I was asking 16 99 for the two. So I'll just pick that and I will photograph the other one separately and sell it separate. And I've got these from that car boot sale. I've got a load of Daffy Duck stuff, some vintage stuff, some Bully Land, German, West German stuff. And some of it's done all right. Some of it's still kind of sat here, but there has been interest in the vast majority of it. Box V. So that's it just there so say it's only a small one packaging a little bit rough around the edges but not too bad next is this ridge racer one for the playstation one and it's just the disc only five pounds fifty free postage so not a lot i can't think where i got this from i really really cannot think boot sale probably at some point in time no idea i'm not sure exactly where it is this one it's not that so I finally found it, it is here. Next is this, I got £13.99 plus postage on this. That was the full asking price. And this is part of one of the many bundles of Skylanders I've had. I couldn't tell you which one at this stage now. Kind of lost track. Unless it's the really good ones. I'm not sure. Pretty sure it's in here. Is it this one? Pretty sure that's the one. Yeah, that's him. And the last thing in here are these two Blackburn Rovers ties, twelve ninety nine plus postage. But I cannot seem to find these. Both I and my partner both seem to think that we took new photographs of this. Yet neither of us know, like, who is correct or where they are. So I don't know. Um, what I'm going to do is look where all the other ties are that we retook the photographs of and hope that they are in there but the other ones are, are all in different boxes i don't 
don't know. I did have all the ties, or the vast majority of them, in like a little cardboard box just down there, but I got rid of that because there weren't that many left. And then I've kind of distributed them in here. So give us a moment. I'll have a look. I will find them. Hopefully it won't take me too long. For once, it did not take me long to find these. They were in the, what, third box I came to, which isn't bad going. There they are. Two pounds is what I've charged on postage. They'll go as a, a large letter. And there's a couple of the McDonald's toys that I've been listing. Getting them up slowly but surely. And there may be a first sale, which I'll show you in a minute, of a McDonald's item. Have a guess now what you think it may be. We'll get to that in a minute. The item that's sold is in the shed. So that's it for in here. Just want to quickly show you, I've been trying to kind of tidy it in here, make it a bit more presentable and a bit more of an area soon, hopefully, where I can kind of test consoles on this TV and have it as like a little room that my kids can come and play some video games in. I've kind of started unearthing some of my old consoles and stuff. Not that, I've actually bought that recently from a friend. Not, don't even know if that works as yet. I paid, I think I paid about 20 quid. It's got four games, an old Atari 2600. Never had an Atari myself back in the day. I've been trying to kind of, as I say, make it a bit more presentable. And here I've got my Super Nintendo scope up there. Sega Mega Drive Mini, my recent Micro Machines pickup. And this was all clear. I've kind of filled it up again, but yeah i can i'm getting there definitely getting there compared to what it was like it's a lot better now um tv is hooked up just need to hook up some of these consoles i've got dreamcast nintendo 64 super nintendo i need to get that super nintendo hooked up so i can test all those super nintendo games that i got at the boot sale got all those japanese super nintendo games and i got that japanese to uk adapter which should allow me to play Japanese games on a regular Super Nintendo. So hopefully that is the case. That's for a future video. And gonna you know get that set up and then we can test them together and open them up. I brought a special screwdriver to open up the Super Nintendo games that will allow me to make sure that they are genuine. I'll show you guys how you do that. I'm no expert, but I've been looking into it. And yeah, there's a very easy way to know whether a game is genuine or not so that's where we're at now work in progress got a little way to go yet but we will get there let's go downstairs and get the remaining things from out the sheds so in the shed and these went for 27 pounds 50 and they are just here that's not bad for these these are only sainsbury's branded they're in good condition nice and simple plain 27.50 i think is quite good for these Next is this heart-shaped plate. This is the very last of a load of these that I used to buy from Home Bargains. I used to buy like the whole store out almost every time they'd get them and they would sell really, really well. This was probably like at least two years ago, maybe three now. And as of anything, I don't know, they just kind of stopped selling. Then they got them in again. They, they, it was kind of seasonal. They only got them in around Valentine's Day. And they started getting them in again and the quality was just just wasn't there i think they went up in price slightly as well so two and two together and yeah it just wasn't worth it they might come around again possibly don't really know but only got eight quid for this one i used to sell them for up to 20 quid for two in their heyday more recently not quite more recently not quite that much Hence me not bothering with them anymore. And the last few things are in here. Got a new light down there. Definitely helps illuminate this dark corner. Same as the one I already had. Pretty good. They, they do last for quite a long time. They're on sensors, so they turn themselves off after a bit. Next is these two Disney mugs, 15 plus postage. 
I don't think these are from that big mug pickup that I did or from the ones from Welsh Picker either. I think these are older than that. Couldn't tell you from where. I think it may be the tip shop. Who knows? 50p to a pound at the maximum. I occasionally pay a little bit more, but not for these barrel shaped ones because they tend to not really sell as well as they used to. So I wouldn't have paid more than, say, 50p or a pound for them. So not too bad. They'll go in there. One of the, these eBay boxes, small parcel with raw mail. And these have sold for eight pounds plus postage. I only paid a pound each, which I know is not a lot, but unfortunately these did have a couple of little issues, which I didn't really notice when I was buying them. I bought them in one of my hundred pound lunch break challenge kind of videos. So I had very little time to really look at this stuff properly. But you know, they still sold, they still made a little profit. But as you can see, there's like a little kind of air bubble there on that one. And on this one, there's a little chip just there as well. Not very noticeable, not very bad, but they've affected the price a little bit. Probably could, could have got about 12 quid-ish if they were in better condition, but we'll have that, eight pounds. All said and done, four pounds profit, something like that. And the last item, which is the McDonald's item, it is in this corner. Not quite sure I put them away in this corner because I've not put any of the others down here. But here they are. It is the the Dragonettes. These ones, set of four, and I only got five ninety nine free postage on these. Yes, I know. I've done them a bit cheaper to begin with thinking that I'll get a few kind of, you know, get the listing going basically. And then I do plan to put the price up a bit to around 10 pounds free postage, something like that. It's not a whole lot, but I do have loads of these. So they're in really good condition as well. And I have to remember to keep a set of these for myself because I think these ones are really, really cool. There's a little, gonna be little profits bit by bit. I'm gonna make a bit of a, I think I'm gonna make a spreadsheet or write it down in a notepad or something and we will see at what point we actually break even on all this stuff we will see not all of it is listed yet but a lot more has been listed in the last week i've been doing about 50 percent of my listings mcdonald's toys 50 percent other stuff i don't want to just be doing mcdonald's toys i want to kind of mix it up and get a bit of a variety going so there's actually two items that have sold that haven't paid yet i completely forgot about the better item the one i wanted to show you was this one it's like a tizer little truck and van and it's in pretty good condition but it's you know played with a little bit rough but still managed to get 20 quid plus postage we'll see if they actually pay they bought it yesterday so hopefully they will go ahead and pay but i didn't think that was too bad i think i got that from like a charity shop rummage bin for probably like 10 20 30p something like that i know the charity shop that i got it from i'm sure that's where it was just amongst with all like the die cast cars and stuff but the better item that is sold again for the second time is this lightsaber little miniature lightsaber it went for 75 pounds plus postage i think that's the same price as what i got for it last time where they never paid but nobody's paid they bought it on friday evening and it is now like late afternoon on sunday and they have not paid yet so we will see on that hopefully by the end of this video they will have paid in fact i'm going to send a payment reminder now because yeah i've not heard anything from them let's send them a payment reminder i usually leave it at least a day before doing that i don't know about you guys sometimes two days but let's send it now because i'm doing my packaging now and it'd be nice to get that one out to the customer this weekend if we can then i'll grab some boxes i'm gonna head in get those 10 items packaged up shouldn't take me too long with just 10 things and but before that we're gonna have a look at all that stuff that i have purchased online on ebay let's have a look and i hope that it's like as good as i think it's going to be there's not a massive amount of profit here i paid up a little bit for it so there it is let's start with the box on top first and then we'll make our way down to this one in just a moment There are two in here, two 
similar items. Uh, let's open them up and see what is actually inside. So I don't think any of these bundles have any vehicles with them, but I could be wrong. I didn't see any in the photographs. But the photographs were not great. But you never know. Maybe we'll get a couple. So I was just amazed to see anybody having so many micro machines in their boxes. Like, you just don't get that. Or at least I, I, I can't think of a time I've ever seen somebody with so much. And you'll know what I mean when you see the rest of it in a minute. But so much still boxed. Not everything is boxed in the other box, but a lot of it is. And I think the boxes really add to it. Especially if, you know, most people are going to buy these as like shelf sitters, aren't they? They're probably not going to buy them to actually play with them, give them to the kids. They might do, maybe. I think most people would just be displaying them. Probably just, I would probably just take it out, stick it on top, display it like that. Let's have a quick look of the, the back. It's difficult to really show you this because everything is so small. The pictures are so small. My camera has a bit of an issue like focusing in on some of this stuff when it's so small. But it should give you an idea there. Look, there's the plane that I got right there. There's another one I've never heard of, Car Wash City. Never heard of that, didn't know that existed. And Service City, didn't know that existed either. So it holds 10 of your Micro Machine vehicles, two ramps lower for loading, opening side door, two level cargo hold, adjustable inside ramp, and spinning rotors which fold up. So with this one, I don't think you actually got any vehicles with this as standard by the looks of it, because usually it would say on the front, you know, includes one vehicle or two vehicles, or whatever, but it doesn't say anything. Yeah, it's just like vehicle transporter. Keep all your vehicles in here. Does the back open up? Yeah, just like that, yep. Yeah. All the flaps are there, it's in really good condition. Again, the stickers, the stickers are really good. Let's see if there's a date on this, 1989. So that's how I do it, just like that. Display it like that, on a nice shelf somewhere. Game room, bedroom, dining room, living room, whatever room you want. Let's have a look at this. This is a similar kind of thing, in fact it might be almost exactly the same but it's just an army version. I would say the person who bought, sold this to me, they've done really well with all the packaging on everything they sent. Everything has been carefully packaged so far anyway. So not opened the big box up yet, but hopefully it's the same as everything else I've had so far. Yeah, as you can see, it is basically exactly the same, just with a little, little army twist to it. This opens up much in the same way. This opens up at the back with a little ramp there. And in excellent condition, again. Right, let's open up the next box, see what we've got in that box. It's going to be a little bit of a surprise. I've not looked back at the photographs since I purchased it about a week ago. So... I'm kind of surprised myself a bit here. I can only think of a couple of things that are in there amongst it all. So the rest will be a bit of a surprise for me as well as you guys. Okay, this doesn't exactly fill me with confidence, to be honest, the way that they package this one. They've obviously struggled a bit to get it all in. Yeah, after packaging everything else so well, just looks like they kind of chucked this all in, but hey, let's get in there, see what we've got. There's one. There's another. And there is 
Supervan City, original box. Yeah, so this is just a bag full of like random bits, which I'm aware of. So this we actually already have, which was my brother's when from when he was younger, which we've ended up with. My kids play with this quite often. It looks in good condition, looks in better condition than the one I've got. I think what I'll do here is I'm gonna sort through what we've got here and make it make sense because right now it's just a box full of stuff. I'm gonna rebox it all as it should have been. And yeah, I will be back with you in a second once I've sorted it all out. Okay, so there it is kind of very basically built. I've not got quite the room to fully build it, nor have I put the correct piece here, I don't think, for that loop. But it all seems to be here, and it does work. So yeah, it's just a shame that they've kind of just crammed all this into the box. At least it's undamaged, it's all here. The box is actually in okay condition, even though it's a bit, you know, it's, been a, it's a bit rough around the edges now. But yeah, at least it's all there. And what I'm gonna do as we go through each item, I'm not gonna spend too much time on each item. I'm gonna show you though, how much money each item goes for. I'll tell you at the end how much I paid in total. Um, I didn't get this stuff for free. I did pay up a bit for this stuff. Right, let's have a look at the next one. The next is these two. I've got one very similar to this myself, which we have in good condition. These two though are not in best condition. I think one of them was okay before they've crammed it all into the box and ended up slightly damaging it. But the other one, yeah, it's, it's a bit worse for wear to be honest. Not mentioned when he told me and sent the photos through, there was no obvious sign of any kind of you know serious damage. But this one is broken here at the hinges. One part of this hinge is broken in the box. So it probably was okay, but it's not now. But it, I think, again, it's something that people are probably going to just display. You can still keep your micro machines in it, I guess, as well. And same with this one. This one, at least the hinges are fine. It's just the closing mechanism uh, is not working or it's broken. So it's broken off that mechanism right there again not declared i mean i didn't ask i suppose but i'm not going to ask about every single item so next is this this is chopper command base this is another one that i've never actually heard of this little lever here i'm guessing lifts it up or it should lift it up like that and then this moves it side to side which is working so I don't know if it's something I can possibly repair or again, whether it's, you know, is anybody actually going to be sat there playing with this like an actual toy or are they going to just be displaying it like that? I was aware of the box damage on this one. He did mention that. So this is what I mean. Like, so he, he's been very kind of upfront about certain things like the box being like that on this, but hasn't mentioned that it's not actually working. Do you know what I mean? It's things like that. Next is this distributor cap tune-up shop. This just opens up somehow. Ah, just like that. That's kind of good, isn't it? Has its original instructions as well. Yeah. So it does have that as well. That just goes in the middle there. It's originally from a shop called What's In Store for £1.99. I've never heard of that. Anybody heard of that shop, What's In Store? And look here on the back. This is the other ones they did in the range. You've got like a gas additive, motor oil one, like a battery and a gasoline canister. Again, not heard of any of these. Any of you guys have any of these when you were younger? So next is these micro machine military battle zones there's the first one and it does seem to be missing a few pieces but they might be here in this big bag full of random bits i've got i'm not going to start going through it all now i'll sit down at some point and i'll 
get it all out and go through it all and get it all listed at the same time but for now yeah it was just to give you guys a bit of a look at it all and uh most of the parts are here by the looks of it but there's this like missile thing on the top here that doesn't seem to be there that'll obviously hurt the value a little bit of it but in it's you know for the most part it all seems to be here yeah i am surprised that there's so many like original boxes here amongst all this stuff you know how many people really keep the original boxes for these things the fact that a lot of this stuff had its original box was a big selling point to me if it was all just loose with no boxes i probably wouldn't have bought this stuff to be honest here's the next one i cannot figure out how to get this in and it is missing a couple of bits again hopefully it's all in this bag again with its box which is always nice and this one which unfortunately seems to be the least complete out of the three so what i'd probably do with these is put them as a bundle of three but again hopefully there's, there is a big there's loads of stuff in here so it may well be in there and we've got these three which are similar kind of things city service center airport marina and not sure what this one is so this one looks the same as that so we've either got two of the same or maybe the one that's in there is different we'll have a look in a second let's have a look then and that goes just there so i think it's kind of all here but we don't have the tray for this one yeah again you don't you didn't get the cars you just got the kind of accessory pieces so this is the other one that was boxed and yeah i think it is exactly the same thing but this one has its tray and it seems to have all the same pieces apart from that in a little bit better condition than the first one and here's the service center that is basically kind of hanging on by a thread that's We've got this tray piece which is good and then lots of other bits compare it to the photograph yeah it seems to be here for the most part i think yeah most of the bits seem to be here next is this super auto world just take a look at the artwork on this one it's pretty good again i don't think we've got any cars with this So I think we are missing this piece, unfortunately, here. Everything else seems to be there, including this bit, which is often missing on these. But I'm sure this piece here is unfortunately missing. We even have the cardboard bit here. But regardless, still a nice set in good condition. Let's have a look. So yeah, it just kind of folds like this. And then usually there'd be a piece, I think, kind of tucked in underneath here that would come down. And that's the piece that is missing. But this piece, it does have, and it does have this as well, which I think goes, we don't have this piece. So I'm guessing it quite often goes missing. And there's various kind of moving pieces is like a lift up and down right there this flips around like that and it kind of does that and there's various other bits and bobs on this one i do like this one the fact that i got this in the super van city was a you know unboxed was kind of the deciding factor the other bits are good as well but this and the Supervan City boxed is where I think most of the money will be at with this stuff. So lastly, we have this Supervan City, perhaps the most well-known place set that they did. I think so, or maybe that's just what was heavily advertised to me as a child. I, I do not know, but for me, although I never had this particular one as a kid, it was this one that everybody kind of wanted the supervan city it all unfolded like this was it the first one out of the range that was like this because you got the truck and you got various other bits as well various other sets but i think this was the first one to do it 
could be wrong or at least it was the the first one to really kind of take off and everyone wanted it giant van with rolling wheels van opens to reveal micro machine city drag strip with spring-loaded launcher working crane garage door drawbridge gate car wash uh, and various other bits but i've had these a few times and these bits are never all there they're just not maybe this isn't working maybe these bits are missing they just i don't think i've ever had one where everything has been there and everything has been in good condition so i it's unlikely to be the case with this either if it's been played with as much as everything else has so let's take a look it's going to be like inside Okay. Yeah, so not great. Not great. Again, there's bound to be bits with this in here. In fact, there is because I've seen like the orange bridge that goes along here. That's in here. But just looking at the overall condition of this, it's not it's not very good, is it? Let's face it. There's bits missing everywhere. Stickers missing. There's a piece missing there. There's a piece missing up here. Yeah, it's not great. It is not great. But this is what happens when you, you know, you buy online, you take the chance, you go off the few photographs that you've seen. If I really wanted to, I could probably challenge the fact that there's so much wrong with it, but I probably won't bother to be honest. What I could do here is try and get or wait for a good condition van and put that with this box and then that will then raise the value, raise you know how much it's worth by a lot. Because these in their box can go for really good money. But like this, I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to as I say, have a look at this bag, see what we've got, see how, what I can do with it all. So there is everything, and I'll tell you now how much I paid for it all, not including the plane, which I am definitely keeping for my own collection. For everything you can see here, I paid £120. That includes the delivery and everything. I obviously paid two lots of delivery, one for them, and then one for everything else. So, yeah, I don't know, what do you think? I'm not sure whether that is as, yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed if I'm being completely honest and maybe you can tell by my voice, I don't know, but I'd like, I'm a little bit disappointed in what, in what we've got here in regards to the condition of some of it. I mean, it's great that it's got its box, they've got the boxes, but the missing bits from some of them and just the condition of some of them. I mean, some of them are good, but some of them are not quite as good as I thought they would be. And then we've got a couple of rarer pieces like this here. This uh, Super Stunt Challenge seems very rare and it's working and it's, and it's complete. And this one's very rare as well. The only person I can see who has sold this, from scanning it in anyway, I've not had a proper look into it yet. Um, managed to get a hundred pounds plus a load of postage, but theirs was new, so obviously this has issues. It's not working as it is right now. I think overall it is pretty good. If I found all this, say at a boot sale at a charity shop for 120 quid, and it was all you know unchecked, and I had to kind of make a bit of a split second decision before somebody else came in and bought it all, I think I would have bought it all for that. I would so you got to kind of look at it like that there's a lot here and I, I knew paying that amount of money we were we're probably not going to make a massive amount so what I've been doing as the video goes on I've been putting on the screen how much everything is worth so what I'll do now is I'll put a total on the screen of roughly how much money I think we can make I'm going to go low end and you know, it's going to be a bit difficult because there's bits missing and whatnot, but it's an estimate of how much money I think we should be able to make reselling this stuff on eBay.
Yeah, it's just a bit funny, really, because actually the best condition thing was the first item I received off them, which was the plane, which is, <laughs> do you know what I mean? I just kind of thought it was all going to be like that, but not so much on this one, but that's fine. It is what it is. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and I'll see you in the next one.